Hello, Cardinals. Today, we are going to go through the voting process. This is a process that uh, you will do for the rest of your life um, when it comes time for elections. So, uh, you guys should have clicked this lesson overview video uh, to be watching um, this screencast of five. So, whether you're eligible to vote or not, you have a lot of power to influence an election. The Students' Powers Elections resource that we're going to complete today is here to help you access and use this power. You'll be guided through the process of voter registration, breaking down a ballot, the actual act of voting, and that's not even half of it. Voting is only one way in which people can influence an election. This resource is going to give you the tools, ideas, and guidance for engaging in the election outside the ballot box. In this lesson, we will research and experience what it's like to register to vote, a breakdown of what a voting ballot will look like, and then you're going to cast your vote. And you will also get informed. Um, you're going to look at what it's like to get involved. And lastly, you're going to learn about protesting and planning or attending a protest. This Screencastify is going to provide uh, the detailed instructions for that. So, key part here, open the file below. You're going to fill out that PDF file while following each direction for each part carefully. Then, you're going to save your PDF file, okay, and then you're going to upload it to this document, okay, and I, I'm going to show you in this separate video how to save your PDF and how to upload that PDF, okay? So let's go ahead and get into it. First thing, we open up our file. You download an A PDF, and we have our Students' Power Election PDF Guide, Resource Guide, okay? This is the introduction that I just read. We need access to an internet, and then we have our digital copy of the files. What's included? There are six pieces that you are going to complete today. So let's go ahead and get down to the first page. First things first, this is a fillable PDF. So what that means is you will type directly um, on the blue boxes. So first thing, name. Okay, I'm going to come in. Joshua Bridwell. Sweet. You come down to the first part, you're going to read about no represent representation without registration, um, why it's so important to uh, register to vote um, and by the deadline. So you may be planning on voting, but election day is this upcoming Tuesday. If I wasn't registered to vote, I wouldn't be able to. So um, some states do have uh, same day registration, but Indiana is not one of them. We have a um, registration deadline that you have to meet. So, first thing you're going to do is uh, voter notes. The first thing you'll need to do is your state's rules on registering. Follow this link to vote.org. Click on that link. What I'm going to do is when you do this, okay, please. I wanted to demonstrate here. If you click on this and don't open it in a new tab, it will erase everything you've done so far. So, you want to open, right click, open in a new link. Open in a new link. So, my state, right, we know that we are Indiana. Now that you've written that in, you're going to look for the number of days before election day someone can vote, including election day. So, we get here, we scroll down, we find Indiana. Okay, you can vote in person 29 days before an election. So you come down here, how many days? 29. Um, by mail, you can uh, vote by mail 29 days before an election. Online, you can vote online 29 days before an election. Um, same day registration at the polls, not available, not available. Okay, and if you wanna see what that category is, Election day registration, Indiana, not available. So you come here and you click no. So how do you register to vote? How do you register to vote? You're going to read through that, right? And then it will ask you to open up this link. Uh, this link. We right click, open link in a new tab. Okay. And then here's what we want to be looking for. The name of the person or office 
um, that you register, the city, uh, the website you can find it from, um, and days and hours open. So we get here, you're going to choose your state. We will be Indiana. Select your voting region. Okay, we are Marion County, Marion County. Okay, Marion County, submit. Okay, so we have um, election dates, general information, eligibility, um, identification, voter materials. Um, the first thing we want to uh, lo look at is the local election office. So address information, the Marion County Election Board, right? So that is the name of the office or person, Marion County Election Board, the city is Indianapolis city is Indianapolis and then what is the website indiana.gov slash election right you can see here I'm just copying and pasting this information days and hours open some contact details Marion County clerk all these people are available for contact then additional information, office hours, boom, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. So you come here, dates and hours open, you submit that information, okay? There's the first page. Voter registration um, is partly done, right? Make sure to come in and please put your name on each page. Now, who can register? Okay, you'll come through, you'll you'll right click this link here, who can register. So who can vote in my state, who cannot vote in my state. So you come here, right, we type in Indiana, the voting region is Marion County, Marion County. Submit. And so here we want to look at eligibility requirements. Okay, you are eligible to vote in Indiana if you and are a U.S. citizen, are resident of Indiana at least 18 by election day and live in the precinct where you vote for at least 30 days prior to the election. Copy that information. Paste that information. Who cannot vote if you are in prison or detention or jail or penal institution, right? So the only people who cannot vote in the state of Indiana are people in prison or jail. Okay. Anything else you need to know? You may pre-register to vote um, if you're 17, but you will be 18 by election day. If you're a student, you're eligible to vote in Indiana. If you reside in Indiana, but attend college in another state. So maybe you go to college somewhere. You're still able to vote in Indiana. Okay. All right. So that resource is done. Double check. Some states don't notify you if your registration was accepted, but there are ways to check if you're registered or not. Um, there are hundreds of different resources to check your voter registration. Okay. So you come here and you, Dr. Birdwell, right? And then for the rewind, based on the reading, what are five things that are helpful to know when registering to vote? So you are going to fill out the five things based on everything that you've read so far and completed so far. What are five things that are important when it comes to registering? Okay, that you can vote 29 days before an election, that you must be 18 by election day, right? So you'll fill out that information. And then the last part is just a quick reflection. Which parts of the process of registering to vote seem like they're helpful in encouraging people to vote? Which parts could be difficult or could discourage people from voting? Name and explain at least two of each. Critical thinking there, okay? Try your best here, um, but this is not the most important part, okay? So we just completed the first three pages of voter registration, okay? For today's assignment, you are going to look at the ballot breakdown. First, the next three pages or four pages, sorry. Then you're going to look at voting, okay, for a couple pages. Getting informed, okay, looking at some different terms, some different and quality news sources. Getting involved, how to advocate and advocate productively um, 
and and doing it in a uh, in a in a positive way. Ways to reach out to your representatives. You guys are going to look up information there. And then the last part is protesting. What counts as a protest? Why to protest and how? We've seen in the news lately, hundreds of protests this year already. Um, uh, there was at least one protest in every state this year. And that is something that is, uh, that is truly incredible. Um, it is a great use of your, um, of your rights to your First Amendment rights to protest. Um, it's highly encouraged if you do it the right way, right? As long as you're not an agitator. But it's something that we all have to be aware of. Um, and so there is, there is good and bad ways to protest. So you're going to read about that information. Okay. Once you get all that done, filled in all the blue boxes, check my next video for how to, um, how to save your PDF and how to, um, how to submit your assignment. Okay, guys. Um, if you have questions, please let me know. Have a good day.